One more example for the valuation of consignment stock. X sends out 400 bags to Y costing 2000 each. Consigner expenses 40,000. Y is non-selling expenses 20,000 and selling expenses 10,000. 300 bags were sold. What is the value of the consignment stock? So we have 400 bags. What is the cost of 400 bags per unit cost? 2000. Total cost? 8 lakh. Consigner expenses 40,000. To be added, 40,000 is the value of 400 bags. Therefore, we are talking of a cost of 100 rupees per bag. Correct? Why's non selling expenses are 20,000? Why's non selling expenses are 20,000? Therefore, per bag it is rupees 50. Selling expense 10,000 not included in the valuation of closing stock. 300 bags are sold. So we need to actually find out the value of 100 bags. What would be the value of 100 bags? We have now 8,60,000 is the total cost of 400 bags or 2,150 is the cost of one bag, the cost of 100 bags would be 2150 into 100, 2,15,000, 2 15,000 would be the value of the closing stock. <coughs> Another problem to prepare consignment account. Mahesh consigned 600 fans to Ramesh to be sold at his risk. The cost of each fan is 3000. Mahesh paid 60,000 as freight. Ramesh paid 15,000 octroi, 35,000 go down rent. 500 fans were sold for 18 lakh. Ramesh was entitled to 4% commission on sales at the rate of 3500 per fan and 20% of any surplus price realized. Prepare consignment account. So Mahesh is consigned 600 fans and the cost of each fan is 3000. So the goods sent on consignment is 18 lakh, right? Then Mahesh paid 60,000 as freight. So this becomes consigner's expenses. Ramesh paid 15,000 for Octroy. This is consignee expenses and to be included when we value closing stock. 35,000 go down rent, not included for valuation of closing stock, but of course consignee expense, expense incurred by consignee and an expense of the consignment. 500, sold for, 500 fans were sold for 18 lakh. So this is sales. Ramesh gets 4% commission on sale at the rate of 3500 per fan and 20% of any surplus price realized. So this is our ordinary commission and what is this commission called? 20% of any surplus price realized. This is nothing but overriding commission which we had discussed before. So before we prepare consignment account, let us make a couple of working notes. One is valuation of closing stock and two, two, computation of commission. What is valuation of closing stock? How would we value closing stock? 600 fans at the rate of rupees 3000 per fan. Therefore, we are talking of a total of 18 lakh. Ramesh paid 15,000 for Octroi, therefore total price of 15,000, again this is for 600 fans, therefore what is the cost, the, the, the transportation, the Octroi cost per fan would be 
fifteen thousand divided by six hundred fans. Therefore, we are talking of twenty five per fan. What other expenses? Uh oh, we missed out. Mahesh is sixty thousand as freight. That should have come before. Doesn't matter. Sixty thousand is for six hundred. We are talking of hundred. So this is consignee's expense. Octroid, and this was freight. That's all. Rent would not be included. Commission or selling expenses not included. We actually have a cost of three one two five per per fan. How many fans were sold? Five hundred fans were sold. Six hundred fans were consigned. Therefore, closing stock is six hundred fans minus five hundred fans. Hundred fans at the rate of into three one two five. We are getting three lakh twelve thousand five hundred is your value of closing stock. Next is computation of commission. What is computation of commission? Was entitled to a four percent commission on sale. So, what is ordinary commission? Very simple, four percent of Eighteen. How much would four percent of eighteen lakh be? Eighteen lakh into four percent, giving us seventy-two thousand. And we have overriding commission. Twenty percent of any surplus price beyond that. So what would that be? Six hundred no five hundred fans were sold at eighteen lakh. So what was the price per fan? We were sold each fan for selling price. Okay, per fan selling price per fan is eighteen lakh divided by five hundred, giving us. Three thousand six hundred per fan. So, what would be the overriding commission? It is twenty percent of what? Of surplus. What is surplus price? We sold each fan for three thousand six hundred, three thousand five hundred. Anything above three thousand five hundred would be surplus. So, three thousand six hundred minus three thousand five hundred. We are talking of hundred. Per fan into how many fans did he sell? He sold five hundred fans. So the overriding commission is nothing but twenty percent of hundred per fan into five hundred, giving us twenty percent would give us twenty percent of hundred into five hundred, giving us ten thousand. So this is ordinary commission. This is overriding commission. Total commission should be eighty-two thousand. So these are our working notes where we have a closing stock of three lakh twelve thousand five hundred, and we have total commission of eighty-two thousand. What would the consignment account be? It's been done here. Consignment account debit. This is actually nothing but consignment account. To goods sent on consignment, eighteen lakh. To bank freight charges spent by Mahesh, the consignor, sixty thousand. For my, uh, sorry, Ramesh was the consignee who incurred fifteen thousand and thirty-five thousand. Another fifty thousand incurred. Again, to consignee for the commission, it was eighty thousand. We computed commission of eighty thousand. Next, by goods sent on consignment. No, there is no return. This is not really required. And then by consignee for sales. 
not necessarily cash sales for the sales totally said was 18 lakh we valued closing stock at 3 lakh 12500 this was already done therefore now you get a profit of 1 lakh 22500 so this problem had computation of closing stock as well as computation of commission we needed two working notes to complete this and arrive at a profit on consignment to Ramesh, profit of 1,22,500. <clears throat> Prepare consignee account, assuming the consignee paid the balance due from him. So how do you prepare a consignee's account? This is Ramesh's account in the books of Mahesh. <clears throat> when we receive the consignee, uh, the, the, the account sales from the consignee, it is only then that we can pass entries. Remember again, when goods are sent on consignment to the consignee, we do not, we do not debit consignee's account. Consignee is not the owner of these goods and it is when for sending of the goods, consignee's account is not touched. <clears throat> but for the sales which is effected, what was the entry? Consignment account is credited, damaged account is debited because this money is to be collected receivable from Ramesh. Expenses are payable to him, therefore Ramesh's account is credited with 50,000, credited with 80,000 commission and therefore the balance amount is what Ramesh has to pay Mahesh. Therefore, if it is settled, assuming it's in the form of check bank account debit to Ramesh's account, 16,70,000 balance in figure. The same problem again, but the question says now, Prepare goods sent on consignment account. We already had consignment account debit to goods sent on consignment 18 lakh. This is closed by either transfer to purchase account or transfer to trading account 18 lakh. So this is how the consignment account, consignee's account and goods sent on consignment account are prepared and closed.